Who? Damien. Right here on the left hand side is what God called us in the Bible. On the right hand side is what we is what our slave masters call us. So you said you are a black African American and you're black. You be from the tribe of what? Benjamin. 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 She had a big, huge picture of a white man on her on her uh, wall, and she used to always say that that was Jesus. And we believed that. I actually believed that as a kid, Damien. You understand? But once I started reading the Bible and understanding what Christ actually looked like, it started to change my mind, Damien. Because you're from a place where, and we all from the same place, but whether you believe it or not, where it's a lot of killings, a lot of uh, violence happens, a lot of drugs happen in our community. There's a way for us to change that, Damien. You don't have to get stuck in it. Watch this. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it gave the description of Christ's head and his hair. It says was white like wool. Touch the top of your hair for me, Damien. What kind of hair is that? That's woolly hair, Damien. Watch this. Read. As white as snow. As white as what? As snow. So it gave the color as well. Right? If you look at my beard, I got white hairs in there. I'm getting older, right? Watch this. I want you to hold up both sides. So it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. So, first off, who, who, had, who fits that description so far? This one right here. Okay, we're going to get even more descriptive, Damien. Watch this. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why? Because Jesus the Christ drank wine moderately. You see how the whites of his eyes are red? When most people drink, the whites are... There you go. So you know that. What about this? Do you see anything red on him, on his eyes? Okay, so that's strike two, right? Okay. Keep reading. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Now, Damien, if I look at the top of your feet, how y'all sisters doing? If I look at the top of your feet, Damien, what color is it going to be? It's going to be black. The same color as the rest of your body. Right? How you doing, sis? What we're teaching is what Christ looked like according to the Bible. That's this right. is very important for you. And I'm going to explain why. Watch this. Read. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. Brass is brown. Listen up, sisters. Listen up. Read. As if they, As what? As if read. they burn in a furnace. Now, if you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it come out? Okay, now. So, white woolly hair, red eyes, and his skin was black.
here. Let me tell you something. We go to the Bible to explain our, to our people. And guess what they do? They turn away from it immediately. And then you wonder why we hate ourselves in these communities. Why we don't have any value in ourselves in these communities. If we show you that Christ looked like you, you get upset or you say, no, that looked like the devil. Now, somebody was trying to explain who you were. And they said, hey, what's your name? Octavia. Octavia. I know Octavia. She's a white woman. She stay uh, uh, down the street. She stay. She got uh, blonde hair. She got blue eyes. That's Octavia. And then they say, hey, when your grandchildren go to say, they say, hey, your grandmother was a white woman with blonde hair. How would that make you feel, Octavia? I don't know. I wouldn't know what to say. You would, you would want them to know who you are. That's very plain. And all we do is come out and teach our people that. And they buck up against something so simple. Knowing that Christ looked like you should be a symbol of pride in your spirit. That should lift you up. We come out here to teach our people. You see all these brothers out here? We travel miles to come out and teach our people that Christ looks just like them. Hold this up. You understand that? Go ahead. Hey, guess what? All our, guess what our women are doing? They're at home. Take care of our children. Most of these brothers out here are married. Most of us are married. Doing you know what the Bible says. Now I'm just trying to get you to understand, I tell you, because look. We read you the Bible and you went against it. it Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring How can you go against the Bible when God said you're greater than everybody? Right. And then we show you your Messiah that you say you believe in and then you go against them. How does that even make sense? Wouldn't you say you're a Christian? You wouldn't say that you never said you was a Christian? Do you read the Bible? Do you, understand? Do you believe in the Bible? Okay, so you believe in the Bible. If we give you the description of Christ, why would our people go against it? I'm not saying you went against it, but our sister, I'll tell you, just did. Now, let me ask you something before I continue. What does God think about you? What's your name? Huh? Miko. Miko. What does God think about you or feel about you, Miko? You don't know. Let me tell you something. Most of our people don't know. When we ask them what does God think or feel about them, they immediately go, I don't know what God think about me. Watch this. I'm going to show you out the Bible what God thinks about you. Bring it up. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it up. For there are a holy people. The guy says, Miko. You are holy people. You come from these tribes right here. You probably come from the tribe of Judah. Wow. Hold this sign up for my sister. Read that. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. So, Mika, the Lord hath chosen you to be a special people. To be what? To be a special people Read. unto himself uh -huh. above all people. They're upon the face of the earth. What did the Bible just say, Miko? Bring it up. Is it Mika or Mika? I'm sorry. Miko, what did the Bible just say about you? Were you listening? Yeah. You the what? No, no, he said you the what? Hold on, read it again. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee read. to be a special people so special. unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said that you are above all people on the face of the earth. That's the people right. that you see on this sign, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, who have been forever called Negroes, called Spicks, been uh, delegated to the worst areas, the worst hoods in all of America right. and all across the world. It ain't just here. We've been delegated to the worst areas. God said those people, those are my chosen people, and they are above all people on the face of the earth. Right. I'm going to tell you right now, Miko, I never ever heard something like that when I was in the Christian church. To understand that God says that I'm better than everybody else and then I see the description of my Messiah, he looks like me? Right. That means that you can, sister, this, this environment can be changed. Right. You can change it. And guess what? You can be the start of that too, to help your brothers and your sisters. You, I hope you understand that because you got to eat this, your son. So uh, now, let me ask you a question. Would you want your, now I'm going to ask you a real serious question. With the sisters that you see in our communities, in our neighborhoods, would you want your son to marry one of them? You wouldn't. Okay, so what are your options then? Because you'll say, I, I don't want to marry nobody here. Well, where you go? Where would he go find somebody? Bring it out. You see, you see the dilemma that we're in? So what we're trying to do, how you doing, brother? What we're trying to do is teach our sisters and our brothers that there is a way to fix it. There is a way to change it, but we haven't been taught that. It but it out. starts with you knowing who you are first. Right. You understand? Because you, what would you say your nationality is? And I want you to listen. What's your name, brother? Sean. Sean. And I got Miko. I want y'all both to listen. What, what would you say your nationality is? I'm black African. Black African. How many times we heard I'm, that today? I'm from Israel. It's too many times. You from Israel. What tribe? Ah, okay. We're going to get into it. Okay. 
All right, that's true, right? But we're gonna get into it. Cause I'm gonna, you just said an African American. Everybody has said that when they came up to us today. They all say the same thing. They have no clue. Give me Isaiah one and three. Bring step up, up, step up with me. Step up, son, brother. Step up. Read that. Isaiah chapter one and verse three. Bring Bring us know if it's owner uh -huh. and I ask his master's crib. So we gave you two dumb animals. He said the ox know what his owner. He know who he belongs to, and the ass or the donkey knows where he stays or where he's where he belongs. Watch this. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But Israel. The people on this side, right here, the so-called blacks. Read. Do not know. You don't know. Read. My people do not consider. God says that his people don't know who they are. They don't know that they belong to the most high God. And they don't even care. That's right. Right. We come out here to teach the word. We just showed our sister what Christ looked like. She said, that's the devil to me. Right. When we read out the Bible who you are, show your nationality. Give me Deuteronomy 28 because it's very serious now. We know that this is the last days. We understand what's, what's at stake right here. What's your son's name? Huh? Messiah. Your son's name is what? Messiah. So if you, listen, that name you gave him is very powerful. But I want to show you something, though. You have to know who you are before you can even guide him and show him properly. You understand? That's the problem in our communities when we come out here. We on old block right now. Bring it out. Why do you think we came out here? You think we came out here to just show a bunch of men? Teacher, what do you think we came out here for? Wake them up, Cap. Oh, to gather the people and to teach my sister Miko who she is according to the Bible. But you don't understand how much it matters just for you to be sitting here speaking with us. We thank the Lord for that. I pray you repent. Get, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. It up. But it shall come to pass, if thou be not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. So, we had to observe to do his commandments. But watch this. I want to deal with your son's name. Messiah, a leader or savior of a particular group or cause. You can, uh, wait a hold up. That, you named your son that. A leader. Of a group up for a particular cause. Bring it up. What you think we doing out here? That's what do you think we out here? We do, we're following our Messiah. Yes, so right. this, read it again from the top. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken means to listen. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do his commandments. And his statutes. And his laws, his statutes. Which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses. That all these what? Curses! All these curses, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad, what's a curse? Is that a good thing or a bad thing, my brother? Well, what about you? Everybody's in agreement. It's a bad thing. God says, all these curses shall come upon thee, shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. Now, he said, if you don't listen to me, all these curses are going to come upon you and overtake you. He's talking to our people. What's your name, brother? Deshaun. Deshaun, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Lex. Lex, so Lex. Let's watch this. Let's get some of these curses. First off, start at uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 20. Bring I want you to read that first, and then we'll get to the sign. Verse 20. Watch this. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing and vexation. And vexation. And rebuke uh -huh. and all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do. God says, everything that you do because you don't listen to me, I'm going to vex it. I'm going to curse it. Think about the movements that we had up until this point. Right. Think about the Black Panthers. What happened with that? Teach up. It went down, right? Okay. What about uh, the gangs? Right? We all we understand that Bloods and Crips was meant to uplift the community at the beginning. What happened to it? God says, I'm going to send cursing and vexation. Now that's the biggest problem killing our people. Bring it out. These gangs. And then think about black, because I know a lot of people always go, well, we can come together, we can put our money together, and we'll grow and do it. What happened with Black Wall Street? Are you familiar with Black Wall Street? Are you familiar? They, they burnt, so, the, so was finances the answer? It wasn't. God says, I'm going to send cursing and vexation. Uh, read it, read it again. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing and vexation and rebuke and all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do. So whatever you think to try to do, if you're leaving out, of the, leaving out the Bible, God says, I'm going to curse it. So no matter what we try to do, it always ends up being what? Something that's going to harm or destroy our own people. Right. Every single time, God says he's doing that. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Watch this. We're going to get straight to it. But, as a matter of fact, give me uh, 30, uh, the, uh, the child, 32. 
Watch this. This is for you, Miko. I want you to listen very closely. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. Bring it a curse on our people. Watch this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, let me ask you a question, Miko. How many of our sons and daughters have been put in this system? In this, in this, um, being taken from their homes. Huh? I, I can hear you say it. A lot of them have been taken from their homes. I'm bringing it up to today, but think about where the slave uh, sign at, right here. Hold this up. I want you to see where they selling us. We was given to another people. Yes, right. You understand? They were taking our children from us. They take your son from you, Messiah. I mean, uh, Mika, they would took Messiah from you. That's the curse that's put on our people. Right. Watch this. Hold this sign. Don't let it go. Read Go jump down to verse 48. Verse 48. Watch this. Therefore shall I serve thy enemy. Wait a second. God says, therefore, since you don't want to listen to me, you're going to serve your who? Thy enemies. Now let me ask you a question. Who is our enemies, Deshaun? Me? Yeah, tell me. Black people. Black, okay. Black, you say black people. What about you? Now let me ask you this. Do we serve them? God said we're going to serve our enemies. So think about it. I'm gonna come back to you. But you, who's our enemy? Huh? I can't hear you, my brother. Us. Everybody say that. Okay. What about you, Miko? Evil people. What? Okay. Let me ask you this. Before we let me let me get this side too. Right, we're gonna make this very plain and very simple. All right. So God says you are going to serve your enemies. What nationality is this? Is this man? Oh, okay. Did they give us this uh, uh, sign of worship? Did they give us that to worship? Or did we do it to ourselves? Bring it up, yeah. They gave us that to worship. Right. right. You understand? So God says you're going to serve your enemy. Watch this. And it gets more descriptive to explain what it means. Watch this. Therefore shall I serve thy enemies, right. which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent those enemies against us. Why? Because we don't listen. That's right. Because we continue to break God's commandments. Right. We won't keep the Sabbath. That's Our right. sisters, they wear pants. Right. Our sisters, they out of order. The men are out of order as well. Right. Killing right. each other at, a, at the highest rate. Right. For no reason. Right. Dealing with homosexuality. Right. All right. these things go against what God right. said right. not to do. Yes. I hope y'all understand. So he said, okay. You don't want to serve me? You don't want to do what I tell you to do? Fine. I got somebody for you right here. And now we got to deal with it. Now, let me tell you something. Remember, Miko, I just read what Christ looked like to you, right? You remember that? Now, let me ask you a question. If I go up and down the street and I think that my Messiah is another race, how would I look at my brothers and sisters? Would there be any, would I have compassion on them? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Because, this, because to you, that's God. So it don't matter about us. We just end up out of for no reason. Because we don't understand who we are. We don't understand what's going on with our people. Go back there. Where was you at? Therefore shall I serve thy enemies, Read. which the Lord shall send against thee. So yes, we have enemies, and God sent them to us. Read. And hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness. So we got to go to our enemies and everything. And the clothes you got on your back, Miko, you had to go to your enemy. The food that you're about to eat today, you had to go to your enemy. I'm not right. talking about just to y'all. All of us have right. to go to our enemy according to the Bible. That's right. what God said. Right. Read. And in what of all things? So in any, so think about this. Miko, if you want to change your name, you got to go to the same people who gave you this to get your name changed. Right. Right. Think about that. You, just for you to say, I want to be called this. You got to go to your enemy. to get, And they can deny you. You know that, right? right. They can literally say to you, now nah, we don't approve that. You got to keep Miko. That's right. what we think you should have. You don't understand how deep this thing goes. They control up. everything, anything you want. If you want my, uh, uh, Messiah to go to school, you got to go to them. Even if you go home school, you got to still go through their system. Right. We don't have no control over anything. Right. And then when we come out here to try to teach, a lot of our people will say that they're free. Am I right? Would you say you're free? You say you're free, right? No, not really. Okay. You're the first person who said that. What about you? Okay, we free? So you ain't in jail. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. He said he ain't in jail. Uh, give me First off, give me Isaiah 5. So we're going to come right back to this. But I'm going to show you something. Not only are we not free, we're living in the condition of hell according to God. You understand me? So you think that you're living just because you you might be in an apartment, whatever, you got you paid your bills. God says that we're in a state of hell. So you thinking that you're free. You're not, you're not only are you not free, but you are in hell as well. Give me Isaiah 5. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Bring it up. Verse 
13. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. God says his people have gone into captivity. We just, we just, oh, I need this sign again, my brother. You might well keep these up. I'm going to be using them. He says, therefore, my people have gone into captivity. Watch this. Because they have no knowledge. They don't know the laws. That's the, that's the knowledge. Malachi 2 and 7. God says we don't know his laws. Our sisters don't know the laws. Our brothers don't know God's laws. Yes. Watch this. Read. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. We should seek the law at his mouth. God says that we are supposed to be a righteous people. Right. The laws is what's going to change. If, you got to think about it. If our brothers marry their, their, these sisters that they're sleeping with. That gets rid of single parent households. Right. The son gets get to uh, uh, see his father, right. see the example of a man. Right. These sisters get to see what it is to actually reverence a man. Right. You understand? A lot of it, a structure, a positive family structure. Right. We don't see that. That's why when these sons grow up, guess who they raised by? The mother. The oh, mother. No, not the sister. They can be, but most of the time it's the it's mother the doing what? Teaching. Can a mother teach a, a man how to be a man? It's impossible. Right. So the, think about it. If we just start keeping that commandment, if a brother married a woman he's laying with, if she's good enough for you to lay with and put a baby in her, you you go you ain't gonna marry her. But the thought process is, I'm gonna jump to a different jump off. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna go out in these streets and do me, sister. You gotta do you, and you left with the baby. Those are the things that people don't have no knowledge of God's laws. Right. They don't care about God's laws. Right. They do whatever the hell they want to do. Right. And that's why we out here for y'all, because guess what? It has descended and put us in a, in a low, lower state. We're reading about it right now. Read. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. We in captivity right now. Just because you ain't in jail or prison, my brother, it don't mean you ain't in, in captivity. That's right. right. I hope you understand that. We are definitely at a lower state right now. Read. Right. Because they have no knowledge. Read. And their honor and able men are famished. What, what honorable men do we have right now? Who, who speaks up for us? The rap, Lil Dirk? Bring it out. Uh, what's the other rappers? Uh, uh, yeah, King Von. Those are those are leaders? Hey, don't say Von like they can't use his name in vain. Like no, that. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Brother, I we're get talking about, we're talking about leaders. Who is leaders in our community? But, hey, but you got to understand too, because now you're talking to me. Yeah. Listen, Von, listen he was to what I'm a saying. good leader to a lot of people. Okay. And I, you know what I'm saying? Now, so let me ask you this. Don't is use it, his name. Are our people still, are we still in the ghettos? Of course. Are we still at the bottom? What can we, how, did he teach us how to change? That's all I'm saying. He dropped his seeds, I can tell you that. He did what? He dropped his seeds. Okay, to, so to, you feel me? But listen to what I'm so, saying. Well, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. When we come but out you're here, using his name because you're saying like he nothing but about negativity and violence, the dirt in the. Well, what happened? Okay, I'm let me just ask you. Okay. Hold on, hold on. All right, that, look, that's a good what, dude. Okay, positive, okay, positive for our community. What did he do to help our community? Like what? Talk to the youth, the same thing y'all doing. Okay, it it's bigger than the money, the financial. We ain't talking about the negativity. You feel me? So I, and he done a lot of okay. positive. Well, look, what, I'm, what, what we teaching you is this. Listen, what we teaching you is this. I, nobody, I'm talking about from slavery to now, has taught our people the Bible. Right. Has taught us how to get out of the, the conditions we're in right. according to God. Right. That's what we talking about. God was my best friend on everything I love. I don't care I'm going to show you something. Give me John 930. I'm right here. I'm going to show you I'm something. Right Give me, I'm going to show you something. Because look, what you got to understand is, well, all we try to do is get people to understand you got to come back to God. Right, it's right, not right. about the, uh, one person or a brother like that. We're trying to show you that the example that we have been Listen, dealing with is not the right way. example. Watch this. Read. John chapter 9 verse 31. Read now we know that God gives not sinners. So God says if you are in sin, he does not hear you. You know what is sin according to the Bible? Lex, what's sin? Yeah, what's sin? Everything going against God. Okay. What about you, brother Devon? Okay, now let's get the Bible. Let's see what the Bible say. Because we got to go by thus saith the Lord. Yeah, That's right. been the problem from the beginning. Right. And brother, I'm not trying to offend none of y'all, but I'm trying to show you something. Hold on, listen. Listen, listen. What I'm saying to you is this. We have to go by what thus saith the Lord say. Because ain't nothing else work. We just read Deuteronomy 28 and 20. It said what? The Lord shall send cursing, vexation, and rebuke. So any leader or so-called leader that we thought we had, 
it left us in the same predicament. It never changes. Because guess what? It's going to be another rapper. And guess what's going to be another rapper? Listen, listen, listen. It's going to be another rapper that's going to come out and it's going to continue the same cycle. How do we stop it? You, We're not worried about somebody that, that's gone. We're talking about right now. How are we going to fix it? Hold on, let's go leave. Read. First Judge, chapter 3, verse 4. Watch this. Yeah, whosoever committed sin. All right, now listen, Lex, listen. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. They transgress or break God's law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's law. That's right. So if, if let's say King Von or any other rapper, if they're not teaching you to keep God's Sabbath day, if they're not teaching you to stop eating shrimp, crab, right. pork, lobster, right. if they're not teaching you thus saith the Lord, they're in sin. Right. And watch what right. right. you said. He, no, no, no. You, hold on. You said he was God's that free. Watch it. I'm talking about according to the Bible, though, Lex. I'm talking about according to the Bible. Watch this. Read. John chapter 9, verse 31. And we know. That God is not sinners. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God Read. and doeth his will and do the will of God, him he heareth. God says he only listens to you if you're doing his will. Yes, now, Lex, what is the will? Bro, we're trying his will. He gets no, attention. come on, bro. No, 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 no. Come back. Don't, don't, don't go nowhere. Psalms 48. I got something. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!